Hey guys, Vivi Chan here. Hope you guys are doing well. So today we're gonna continue with some more of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episodes 40 and 41. We're about to see Toji versus Megumi, Sukuna versus Jogo. Oh my gosh, things are absolutely crazy right now. Let's just get right into it. I knew. Did he already get defeated? You are my special. <laughs> oh my, I, I, this song. And then just knowing what's about to come just makes me all giddy inside. Oh my gosh. I kind of missed uh, uh, Gojo. Hey, yeah, we haven't seen Toji in a while. Todo, I meant. Todo. Yeah, is Toto even gonna appear? And then Choso, what happened to Choso? He got like fake memories? Is that from Sakuna or what happened? Oh my god, all these hand techniques. The eyes. Oh my god, that was so good. Let's get into it. He's the, he was that fast! He, you just turned around and he was there! Perfect form of Maki-san. Does he know who that is? Like, can he see? Oh, that guy kind of looks like me. Actually, it should be the other way, but... Cause the grandma put the the curse on him to kill all sorcerer. Fleeing hairs. Oh. So using the rabbits to hide himself? No longer have curse energy for them. Damn! <laughs> Is his eyes closed? It's just pure instinct, like you said. And he only's got one of that weapon. One third of that weapon. How strong is this guy? God damn! He pressurized the air? What the? <laughs> He's Asuna. Woo! Oh, come on, go back! Oh, it's been a while, you guys. Someone's jealous. <laughs> but they just said a few episodes ago, like Gojo himself can change the world. But I kind of get it. It's like, <laughs> but it's Gojo. Excuses? Oh, I see. <laughs> now that's a lot. 
logical uh, explanation. <laughs> You're almost there. You know, can't hate this guy, right? <laughs> I know he's terrified. Like you got uh, what's it? May May. Yeah, fighting that uh, disease curse. Geto Mahito are nearby. Is it? Why does Panda look funny? Yeah, let's have a nice long chat. Nagayato. I'm sure he's like strong if he wants to, but... <laughs> Holy shiz. Can you fly away? You have curse. Oh, come on, stop going back and forth. Yeah, you're gonna heal himself. Hey. I didn't know she quit smoking, damn. Well, at least the rabbits helped to divert his atten attention. Okay, Shoko's nearby. Yeah, does he have secret technique besides his domain? I messed up the timing, oh my god. Oh no, oh no. He talked, he remembered. Did he kill? <gasps> oh no, oh no. Not, his face, what, when they, they just reunited.
No. I mean, at least he got to see his son one more time. Like, he realized it and then... Bitch! Kill this fucker! <sighs> bitch, that fucking bitch. Oh, that guy from the movie. What happened? Jogo and Sukuna? What's on his back?
Oh, this was the beginning of the episode. Bell. But for how long? It's like an excuse to get away. What? All the innocent bystanders are gonna get hurt. Yeah. Well, I don't know if the, the humans are nearby or just somewhere else. I know, right? You should run. <laughs> Panda's face, man. <gasps> I know that face, right? Oh my god. I'm petrified. Oh, what? What? Holy shit. Nah, man. If it had hit. Oh my god, he died.
Wow, he cried. He has feelings. Damn, his life flashed before his eyes. Goodbye, Jogo. I can't believe that's that's it. Huh? Who, who is that? Urame. It's the ending song. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Wait, is there something at the end? No, I just want to skip. Next. It is so crazy. Grandpa? Oh my god, is Yuji gonna wake up? I... Oh my god. The Kusaka Banda. Me. Megumi. Oh my god, he's gotta get a Shoko. Oh my god, we have the the credits right here. This is about to be a crazy episode. Man, this this bitch can can whatever at the last episode. <clears throat> Man, but out of all the colors, his blood. This cheat. They want to be the best? Is that you? Oh no, Megumi? Yeah, both clans wants to be the best, right? They're going to be rivals. <laughs> okay, okay. Here comes the 10 shadow technique. So this person's like a thousand-year-old servant that used to serve under him? Frogs and dogs.
He was gonna save this for Sakuna. <laughs> Damn, that thing just pushed him aside. I'll be dying first. Fuck! Oh my god. You got what was coming! You- That thing kind of looks like Hanami. You got it bad. Karma. Sakuna is going to save him? Yeah, he's like, you got so much potential. Be a waste. Kill him! Kill him! He's not gonna kill that guy. Like, this guy's gonna survive. Like... Have to defeat the shit. No way we're halfway. This is a joke, right? <laughs> oh my god, him drinking the the coke. It's part of extermination. Oh. She's just casually eating some popcorn or chips. Man, he needs a challenge. Wow. Damn, that was a fast heal.
Oh my god, he managed to get everyone safe. And now... Yeah, run, bitch. My god, he shocked Sakuna. Did it get bigger? Oh, he brought the power back. Damn. You can see my technique. The lava ice cream. It's an airplane. Oh, shoot. water and blasted it away Yamato no Orochi
Yeah, that wheel thing did get bigger. The one human you didn't want to kill. Here we go. Kill him. Mm -mm. Ran out. Megumi. How did they not see? Oh, he transported him over. Yeah, he wants Megumi to be healed. 
Okay. Now what's he going to do next? Okay, back to Yuji. Damn, Yuji is going to blame himself. And the memory just came to him. How dare they play this song right now? You are my spe- Fuck! <laughs> What the world? Damn, the darkness. Is that all of Shibu? Is anything still there? Did any human serve? Damn, fucking hell. I'm still processing. I'm speechless. Look at that, man. It's like a crater in the center. Like dystopia Akira vibes. Damn. Like, just thinking earlier, his grandpa was like, you gotta help people. Damn, that blood. I have to fight. Live or I'll just be a murderer for it. Oh my gosh. Nana me? The the Cleveland Well, I'm glad you're alive, but Damn that side is burnt. Wow. Wow. Damn. Studio Mafia, man. I hope you guys are paying your employees well because, damn, this. Di I can't even explain the animation. Holy shit. Like. <laughs> Wow, that battle, Sakuna versus, I don't even remember that shadow technique name thing. Wow. Like, literally, my mind is still thinking of the episode, wow. And then when Yuji just came back and... He's absolutely defeated inside. He's like, I gotta keep moving or else I'd be a murderer. But his, the look in his eyes was traumatizing. And then just like scratching his fingers on the ground until they bled. But the pain can't... Oh my gosh. An anatomy at the end. Okay. I'm not even, like, paying attention. We need to stop here. I need a break because, yeah, that was a lot. Oh, my gosh. I am still, like, sitting here, like, pondering uh, these last two episodes. Holy crap. Just this episode, man. All of the tiny little details to the grand level scale. Wow. It's over the top. It's just insane. Mappa. You better be paying those animators well. Like, 
the that was like the first thing that came to my mind looking at all of this happening because people know that animation studios do not pay their staff or animators really well like these people are working way over time i don't think they get bonuses or i'm not even sure but you know if you want to be an animator in japan like you literally got to dedicate your life to this job like you know there's memes and joke about you're being a slave to mappa to animation studio and it's not just overtime like maybe an hour or two like this overtime like you might sleep over at the office just to finish an animation at the last minute like crazy stuff stories that i hear the episode thunderclap part one part two fits wow what a big thunderclap that was so episode 40 we got straight into Hushiguro's fighting and i love that toji mentioned hey you didn't take the zayi name it's nice that he realized that's his son i'm assuming he did that because he realized that's his son and he doesn't he knows he's strong enough to possibly kill his son so he's just off to himself but at least he knows like you know he got to see his son grow up and everything so that was a nice time. even though like i kind of wanted them to have a little bit more connection maybe later on when he talks to the uh, old man zayi that he'll find out oh yeah and like i believe there was like a little memory where toji was like talking to i think it was that old man because like the voice sounds familiar maybe that's his uncle or his grandpa i don't know it doesn't seem like that would be his dad just because like if you're because if it's dad, i think it'd be closer and they were like bidding that megumi is gonna have like the technique he's gonna be the one right and even like jogo gojo even gojo had like a little talk with megumi flashback and he's like you know our and both of our ancestors of the zayi and gojo clan both are kind of rivals and like the main ancestors fought and then they got the special techniques yeah you can see megumi used it this episode because that one little bitch enemy guy yeah i mean i don't i i don't not wish anyone to die but this guy just hurting killing so many of our friends yeah he just deserved what he got and uh episode 40 seeing jogo fighting sakuda you kind of feel a little bad for him like is it just me like maybe nobody cares but you know jogo is supposed to be one of special grade curses but you know two of his biggest fights versus gojo and then sakuna so it makes him look super weak but actually he's super strong because you saw in last episode in the last reaction 39 we can see how quickly he incinerated nanami the old man zaying and uh, maki you know he always regarded himself as strong like fake ghetto said he was probably at like eight or nine fingers i think currently sakuna has like 15 ish fingers jogo actually thought hey i might have a chance like if i could just land one blow on him but yeah sakuna was just like blew everything away whatever whatever got thrown at him sakuna just literally blew it away like nothing it was a piece of cake and uh in the end sakuna used some like i don't know what's his secret technique fuga open and then like he can use fire techniques i'm not really sure exactly his technique because even jogo was like i thought you only had like the slices and stuff i'm not sure if it's because he has a main technique and that maybe that main technique can copy or like you know use another technique i'm not too sure the details but uh, anyways jogo he's probably like you know reminiscing about like his his life flashed before his eyes and then he's he sees dagon and uh hanami or maybe it's the afterlife at first but then you see sakuna there and he kind of says what's on jogo's mind he's just like you want to be humans but not really humans you just want to take the place of human and you never had enough drive it's like holding back you never had enough drive to push forward to the limits to get to your goal like if you really wanted you would have just like went all out or something and then i think hearing this jogo cries but it's like too late he's already literally in real life he is a corpse an empty body burning and uh, he's mentioned something about being reborn so i'm wondering if we're gonna see like a future different jogo hanami dagon and they were also saying something about placing their hopes in mahito yeah so i don't know if mahito versus sukuna is coming like what's next what we still have to save jogo and then fight ghetto but it's just ghetto right now it's just fake ghetto and uh mahito right curse painting what's his name choso or something and then i think the other human 
sorcerer that we're following from Hei Ghetto. We get to meet the one sensei, Kusakabe, I think his name was. Scary. He could die. He do not want to die. At the same time, he doesn't want to be alone, so he wants to keep Camp Panda close with him. Yeah, but before they can actually really fight, Sukuna just like pops out of there. Sukuna went to finish off Jogo, and then he went to see what Megumi's up to. Yeah, like since episode like, was it three or four or something? After that first big mission that they have, and then supposedly Yuji died there. Um, he had an, he, he's always got an interest in Megumi because he's like, oh, Megumi, you could do, you could use that technique. And then in this episode 41, we get to see that 10 shadow technique, I guess out of, yeah, out, yeah, out of, out of Megumi's, uh, Shikigami, the worst, most terrifying Shikigami that he has because he was almost dying. He summoned it. He decided to do this to at least kill off that dude. Supposedly after that. Shikigami. I forget the name. It started with an M. But that Magoro Ma something was gonna... If that thing defeated that bitch, I think it would have just disappeared. So Sakuda's like, I'm gonna get rid of it. And uh, it was a lot tougher and like, holy crap. The animation and everything, the domain expansion, Malevolent Shrine, everything was absolutely insane to watch. This Shikigami is, is probably like one of the... Literally, they said that was the strongest Shikigami. Shikigami. That fight was absolutely insane. Every single fight has been crazy, but this one just takes the cake. They were like literally cooking up all of Shibuya right there. And man, the lights going in and out, the whole thing. And then at the end, when Sukuna did his thing, he transported Megumi to where the principal and Shoko are so they could uh, heal him. And then, yeah, he literally is so terrible. He brings Yuji to the center of everything so he could witness all of it right and then the moment he switches back to yuji like all of the memories flowed into yuji like it's like when aot like edin was hiding his true memories but once he passed like everything came back right so when yuji saw everyone's death and like what sakuna has done it just traumatized is not even the word like therapy is not gonna be able to heal this like you just I don't know where he's got the strength, but literally he's, he just put it all behind him and he's like, I gotta keep moving forward. If I look back or like stop right here, I'm gonna be a murderer. Yeah. I mean, you know, technically it wasn't him, but physically it was, but like, you know what I mean? It was Sakuna that did all of that, but you know, you can't help but feel, Yuji feels that it's his fault. Man, the look in his eyes, that was like him looking at like, the center of Shibuya where it's all a crater of black hole darkness. Yeah, like the lights are still on the side, but just in that middle. It just felt kind of like Akira where they had like that center part also looking like that. Man, I felt so bad for Yuji, especially like the way they color the blood. Like everything is kind of like grayed out. Yeah, but that blood, the blood is just so like dark red and I do not know what else is coming. I'm sure they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna try to save Gojo, but it's like, what now? Oh man, that was a lot. Oh, okay, that is it for the reaction. Feel free to leave me your comments and thoughts. What you think about the episode? What was the most craziest part? Just Feel free to let me know anything. I'll be sure to read your comments and uh, see you guys for the next reaction. I'm catching up for sure. See you guys there. Peace out.